Hey, bless to see you. You pops me on fresh. <laughs> ah, yeah. Hey. Rub powder. Join you. Do you have white powder? Let me also rub. You don't have. Hey. You are lost. Now, so myself for just rub powder. Join you this night. So that it will be two of us. Huh. Ah. What is going on with Kubana chief priest? First of all, let us start with. Let me. Let me now. First of all, I'm sorry, eh? Blessing you, my sister, but I won't talk. What did Maria do? If she do am, first of all, let's let's start and say it is a rumor so far. So we will address it as a rumor. I don't know if you understand what I'm saying. Let us say it is a rumor first. Because this thing points a very crooked finger at all celebs. Tomorrow, celeb go buy moto. Blessing, I know how hard you work. I know how hard you push. It takes, I know another celeb, Uche uh, Enendu, my sister. <laughs> Uche, they do like 75 business. I know many women who are celebs, who are artists, who work to their bones. Some of them know they sleep. But it just takes one woman to get a Ho, ho and go into the garden to ho, ho and then all women are gardeners with hoes. Just one. And this cast a very dark shadow on. Oh, okay. Now they go Dubai. Now what are they go do for Dubai with this? I want to just hear Dubai now. <laughs> <laughs> right now, eh? <laughs> no, they they go Dubai. She followed me there. Now me carry and go. Before I begin. <laughs> Before I begin. Because that Dubai now can't they fear the Dubai. I swear. You don't what know. Your take, bless, before, I even, before I even talk plenty, what is your take? Um, this? People actually sent me the message. My inbox, people scream much and send me them. They say, bless no, yeah. Call hmm. you. Go here where you go talk. Like you said, it's still a rumor, right? So let's assume it is true. Because for Kubana Chipri to talk and within full chest, evidence go day. Uh -huh. So, but first of all, to me, I feel say Kubana Chief is not supposed to call her out to the best of mm. my knowledge. He just mm. he might have that because Bye. she's a girl. A lot of side chick they snatch husband. And as he they call the girl out now, he made Maria feel very powerful. Yes. Now the honest truth. That's what I used to tell a lot of married women. Now then they give side chick power. Trust me. Yes. As Kubana chief priest called out Maria now. Make we assume say Maria just go Dubai, just go knock, collect money. She go and snatch the guy. She go say, hey. Because, do you understand my point? She would equally want to snatch. Because most times these side chicks sleep around with other people's husband. They don't even intend to snatch you. But the morning they go now, she feel vexed. Say, okay. Sis, what, now don't what, call me. Mm -hmm. Bless me. She don't, he, he said, according to his statement, that she threatened the wife. So it's no, was that threatening don't enter? It don't come out, say, me and your husband, they play game. You don't talk to, hey, 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 come here. And they want you down. First of all, Daddy Freeze, you're very intelligent. I watch you very much. Make analyze that money, factual. Kubana Chifrit, now my boss, now my person. Uh -huh. Good. How did Maria get the wife's number? For a side chick to have access to a man's phone as much as driving his car and having the wife's number and having the guts to threaten the wife, the husband gave her a go ahead and the husband gave back him up. So maybe Kubana chief priest called out Maria because he knows that the husband is backing Maria up and he can't do anything. How should they get the number? This thing we call disrespect starts from the man who, I don't see Maria doing anything wrong here. I see the husband disrespecting his wife. Every mantle that Maria has was given to her by the man. Now, how you take carry your wife? Now, so side chick go take carry him. It gets some men where their side chick where their side chick no go dead. You they Chris? Mm. Call my wife. But for mm. her to call his wife and threaten his wife, the man go don't give him some assurance. Something they knock drum for the girl where they give him gods. Do you understand? So mm. she even guys car. Posted it on her snap. Posted money. She posted them now. She posted them for her story. 
she get liver. So for her to get that kind of liver with no shade, the guy don't give him some assurance now. So liver. So it has nothing to do with. I don't even see Maria at fault here. I see the man. Let's drag the man for disrespecting his wife, not Maria. Trust mm. me, that's true. Mm. Now, now, let's talk about side chicks from a cultural perspective and from a biblical and, should I dare say, religious perspective. We all know Solomon had 700 concubines. Abraham had concubines. Um, David had concubines. And uh, in our traditional African setting, Listen, one man, one woman, we import it down from Oimbo people. Make we just agree this one down. One man, one woman, that imported culture. I'm a one man, one woman man, but I know that it is not easy. And I know what my mates who cannot submit themselves to one man, one woman go through. Let me ask. There's some men who cannot settle for one woman. My grandfather was like that. My father too was like that. And many, many, my father's generation. My father had brothers, I had two wives, three wives. We, I grew up with my dad's friends, having second wives and concubines. See, in Yoruba language, there's a word, something, a word for your traditional language. Like onion, like this, now, alubasa. You know, see, the important from Hausa land is this albasa. So it doesn't have an indigenous word, meaning that it is a bit alien to that culture. It was introduced to that culture. But side chick na Ali for Yoruba. I don't know whether you get that for Igbo. Now, let's discuss this. Because whether you like it or not, we're wrong here, side chick, wrong here, side chick, wrong back, side chick, go forward, side chick. So side chick culture is embedded in Africanism and to a large extent, religion. Let me ask you a question. Is it really wrong? Let's leave religious morals aside and discuss one-on-one -on -one as Africans. Is it wrong for a man who is wealthy to have a side chick? Let me just sample your opinion. No. Realistically, no. But the common African woman, woman does not want to digest it. There's something one man told me when he came for therapy. He said, the kind of money I've made, only my wife, no picture up. Hmm. Realistic. It was realistic. It's how a man would be rich, Sepp, eh? You as a woman, you'd be tired of eating money. So men just, like you already said, in our culture, men have the right to polygamy. If a lot of women come to me for my husband cheated, the only thing I say is, as a man, you owe your wife what is called respect. And when we go to the Muslim culture, when they are getting married, because I have a lot of Muslim friends, in their culture, even if you want to marry ten wives, you must treat them equally. You know, go disrespect this person. Even if, if we want to paint it in this picture, if Kubana chief priest um, sister's husband wants to date Maria, do it, but don't disrespect your wife. Mm. Don't stop disability. Do you understand? Uh huh. That's just all. But a lot of women refuse to accept it. They know, they know their husband is cheating, you know, but they be fighting the side chick. So it's like they keep living in denial. Most of them have seen the traces of polygamy in this man. They go see Mariam. The man said on them before they got married, they go see Mariam. Do you understand? Like I used to say, fidelity is a decision. Every man has, every man and every woman have tendency to be unfaithful. We get them for body. Even as a married woman, you still see one hot guy in your mind, you don't can finish. Realistically, whether you're married or not married, you lost after men and after women. You might not be able to do it. Now, what differentiates us is boundary principles. Some people are principled. That if you see fantasy girls every day, but now principled that you say, I'm not going to move. Doesn't mean you don't see pretty girls. Some people are not principled. Some people don't have that mind of their own. So you can't force them. If you are blessed enough to see a principled man, good for you. But not every man can, with all these fine, fine chicks. So it's just the common Africans living in denial. We, we don't tell ourselves the truth. And that's why we suffer so much. And they see people like you and I as controversial because we don't want, this is the truth, this is the truth. So we are not always hot when it happens because this is reality. They see reality, they refuse to face it, they keep lying to themselves. Because a lot of these things they say is heartbreak, are things that they see. Kubana Chief Free's sister will not tell me that all the while before Maria, she doesn't know that her husband has been cheating. Now lie. Men like that cheat. They are just calling Maria because Maria is the famous one. 
<laughs> Do you understand? But if you begin to trace, they've been cheating along the line. Why is this one an issue? So mm. the earlier women begin to accept it, if you know you cannot stay in a polygamous leave, they don't want to go. They want to kill the other woman. But in this part of the world, you can't do anything if a man decides to marry another wife. One woman told me, my, if my husband marries another wife, I will die. I said, good, RIP. If you die, he marries, <laughs> who lose? <laughs> do you understand? So, I just feel it's, it's a lot. Let's, let's also do this. How would you feel if the narrative was that the lady in question that was allegedly threatened by Maria was the one that was cheating on her husband. How would the How? narrative be? Because you know now it is man cheats on wife. Eh, it's okay. Eh, there are so many. But what, 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 what would now happen if it was the other way around? If it was the woman that had a side bubble and the side bubble called the Brother Kevin out and said, Brother Kevin, I see you for this downtown. Eh? What thing I will use your eye do you know go like him? How would you, as a therapist, judge the, the matter? This is how I defined it. The reason why is that see, when a man cheats, it's easy to talk about it and let it go. It's because men are givers by nature. A man can cheat and still go back to his wife and his children. If probably not for, even with all this drama, this man might still go back home and go and tell his wife, sorry, we'll not hear that one. Men cheat physically. Women cheat emotionally. When a woman starts to cheat, she's gone. That's why it hurts more. Yes, that's the honest truth. When women don't begin, she cheat with her. Oh, but man, if you just see begin, she just one knock, they go. Then go see, go back and go tell your wife, say, I love you. I think that is why it is more depth for men. So it's not like the pain is different, but um, a, man's, a woman's body is like a temple. You collect, you keep. A man gives. He's not used to be sharing, gives, but a woman is collecting. So yeah. I think it's a society for us, right? And, in this, and the truth about it is cheating affects women more than men. That's the honest truth. Whether we want to take it to the Western world or we bring it to this part of the world, cheating affects women more than men. Because, like I said, our body is a temple. We collect. We keep so many things. And when you keep so many things, like when you have too, just like when you have too many body counts, You'll be confused. Like I said, women are emotional beings, right? Once you start to have a woman and you do it well, she starts to love you. But there's no amount of good to give a man. If not, all the ashawo for don't marry your husband. <laughs> do you understand where I'm coming from? <laughs> I get you. I get you. Let's take a look at this, for instance, eh? Uh, some women, I believe, have also lost their emotions and their conscience. It get the way you go, they do it for five thousand dollars, ten thousand dollars. By the time you don't do like five, ten, fifteen, you don't go get conscience again. You that emotion, you go don't come out arm for the equation. So it becomes a business deal. If not, I shall to go. They fall in love with the customer. We are talking about women who cheat, not a shower that sleep yeah. for money. Cheating is different from prostitution. Some mm. people cheat because I like you. Some people cheat. Some people are sleeping around for business. Let's not mistake the both of them. I can be in a relationship right now and cheat because maybe something is missing in my relationship. My husband is not always around. My husband is not this. And I just see a guy and I fall. Then I'm sleeping around with a man for money. There are two different things. When I'm mm. sleeping around with a man for money, there is no emotion. It's business. I don't feel anything. So let's not mistake a cheating woman for a prostitute, they are two different. <laughs> you understand? Uh -huh. So they are two, two different um, narratives. They are not the same at all. They're not. My darling sister, thank you so much for this expertise. You're and people, if people have emotional problems, how do they get in touch with you? Women and counseling. Yeah, I have an office in Enugu, um, number eight, Guaba Street, Independence Lead. And we also opening an office in Lagos very soon. By the special grace of God. So you can walk into our office or we have online therapy if you want to talk. How, how did you get into your online therapy sessions? You can send us a DM or send us an email. Then we'll pick it up from there. we send you the necessary details. It's not expensive. It's very affordable. So you pay for consultation. Price, look at <laughs> <things. laughs> All right, guys. Thank, Thank you, you so much, Blessing. And remember, guys, if you're going through something and you need to talk to someone, Blessing is right here 
for you. Take care, my darling sister. Thanks for hopping up at such a short notice. And Thank thanks you. for much life and perspective to this matter. Right. Take Thanks. care.